Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is customs and building material. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. Remember, you can also stay safe by maintaining your social distancing. You can check by using your hands in front of you and by your sides. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Today's lesson is all about phonics, computation and place values. For our first exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 23. On page 23, we are going to be completing the patterns. Now, as you can see, our choo-choo trains are missing some numbers. And it is our job to count by the number so that we can complete our choo-choo trains. Let's start with the first one where we are counting by twos. Now they have given us the first one, which is two and four. So we are going to complete it together. Let's take a look at the counters. Now remember, you can use anything for counters, boys and girls. I am using bottle tops, but you can use colors, you can use pencils, you can even use stones. For our counters today, the blue one is going to be the continuous counter and the red one will be the answer counter. So if we are continuing from four, that means we are counting two and counting on. So it is five, six. So that means the next one is going to be a six. I'd like you to please write the number six. Then after that, we continue from six counting on, we say, seven, eight. So we know that our next answer is eight. May we please write eight in the next carriage for our choo-choo train. Let's move on. Then we start from eight counting on nine, 10. So please write the number 10. You're going to complete that choo-choo train by yourselves. Now, let's try counting in threes. So that means I'm going to add another bottle top. Counting by threes, they've given us the first two, which is three, six. So it is our job to continue counting from six. Now we have our three counters, and the one that we land on the red is our answer. So let us continue from six. Seven, eight, nine. So that means that our answer is 9. May you please write 9 for your answer. Now let us continue. From 9 we are counting on 10, 11, 12. So our next answer is 12. Please write 12 
in the next carriage for our choo-choo train. And the rest of them you're going to continue by yourself. Now let's try counting in fives. So I'm going to add two more counters and we are counting by fives. I'm only going to do one with you, so let us find out. They have given us the first two again, so it is our job to continue from 10. Let us go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that means our answer is 15. Please write 15 in the next carriage. And the rest of them you are going to do by yourselves. Remember, you can use any kind of counters and take your time. If you make a mistake, that's okay, you can always start again. Now, let us go to the next exercise on page 24. On page 24, we are going to be doing decade numbers. Now, decade numbers are numbers that end with zero. So every time you see decade numbers, you know that we are actually counting in tens. I have tens on my board today and I'd like us to count in tens together. Remember, the decade numbers start with zero, but we can always start with ten as well. So let us begin. Let's go together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now the reason why you don't see 100 there is because I want to emphasize that decade numbers are counting in tens. So we can even continue by saying 100 and then we come back and say 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, and 190, and on and on and on. The most important thing is that we are counting in tens. Another thing that I said about decade numbers is that they end with a zero. So it is going to be our job to change the numbers that we can see into decade numbers. Let's take a look at our exercise. Now the first one that they have given us as an example is very clear. The sum starts as 2 plus 4 equals 6. And then there's an arrow pointing to the new sum where the numbers have been changed to decade numbers. So now our sum reads 20 plus 40 equals 60. It is now going to be our job to change the ones that we can see into decade numbers. Let's do the first three together on the board. Now the next one that you can see in your books is saying 1 plus 1. Now in order for us to change these numbers into decade numbers, all we need to do is add a 0. And then we'll be able to find our answer. But before we go where the arrow is pointing, we first need to solve this sum. Now we all know that 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we can write our 2 here. But then now we need to change this sum into decade numbers. So we're going to take the first number which is 1. And then we're going to add our zero to make it 10. So now it says 10 plus, and then we take the next one and we also add another zero. So it says 10 plus 10, then equals, with our answer here, we're going to take our two, put it here and add the zero. Now our sum has decade numbers. It now says 10 plus 10 
equals 20. Let's now try the next one together. The next one says 3 plus 1 equals. Now what is 3 plus 1, dear children? Yes, 3 plus 1 equals 4. So we have solved our sum and now we need to change it to decade numbers. So we take the first number, which is 3, and we change it into a decade number, which is 30. And then we say plus, then we take our 1 here and we change it into a decade number, which is 10 by just adding the zero. And then our original answer, which was four, the four comes here and we change that into a decade number by adding our zero. And now our sum says 30 plus 10 equals 40. Let's now do one more together before I leave you to do it by yourselves. The next one says, 1 plus 4 equals. What is 1 plus 4 grade 2's? Well done! 1 plus 4 equals 5. So we are going to put our answer here 5. Now we need to change these numbers into decade numbers. So we'll take the first number that we see. The first one is a 1. And by adding a zero to that one, it becomes a 10, a decade number. Now we say plus, and we take the next number, the next number is four, and we make it a decade number by adding a zero, which is 40. We put our equal sign, we take a look at our answer, and then we take our five, we put it to the other side of the arrow, and we add a zero. Now our answer is complete. So our new sum says 10 plus 40 equals 50. So take your time children, make sure that you use the counters carefully when you are completing your choo-choo trains. Also, please make sure that you are counting in tens for your decade numbers so that it can help you get your final answer. Remember to take your time and you can always check. Or if you didn't understand, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you end up doing the work by yourselves. Have fun and I'll see you soon after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls. I had so much fun with you. And remember, if you don't know or you're not sure, it's okay to ask for help. Make sure you finish your exercises by yourself and check that your answers are correct before your teacher or the adult that is with you marks. Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and rub your hands nicely. Very good. Remember to rub inside, around your hands, in between your fingers and on your wrists. I think someone has been coming in and out of the classroom. I'm not sure where he is right now. Zashi, where are you? Oh, <laughs> hello Zashi. How are you today? Are you okay? That's good to know. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>
Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Thank you.